I've been to Peru many times, but to be among the llamas was uh, an experience that, uh, for me, uh, it's really emotional. It was just a feeling of, of uh, sort of wholeness to, uh, to be with these people who are so giving of themselves and willing to learn from us and so different from us. My name is uh, Mike Sheridan. I am a llama owner. I've had llamas for 27 years. I am uh, a member of the Gala Board and I've been on the Gala Board for the past three years. If we look at Gala's mission, it's to educate the public and the members of Gala to the, the breeding, raising, and caring of llamas and alpacas. And I think by knowing about the history of llamas in the Andes and the current situation of llamas in the Andes could not be more fundamental to this purpose of Gala. I was the founding chairman of the Andean Committee. The Andean Committee was uh, formed in uh, 2017 uh, with the purpose of uh, reviewing proposals regarding the Andean highlands and also to consider the possibility of researching a Gala-sponsored trip to the Andean highlands. We began to organize this trip in 2018. We worked on it for the full year, but the basic idea was to spend 10 days in a single lodge, and uh, the lodge we chose was the Lama Pack Project in Urubamba, Peru. The Lama Pack Project is a, a small group of individuals whose objective is to re recover traditional uses and breedings of llama carriers as a tool for sustainable rural development and conservation in the Andes. Our trip would be a window into how this could possibly work in the future for a llama pack project. The goal was a cultural and informational exchange between U.S. llama farmers and their Indian counterparts. The Gala group was able to share their information. Presentations were made in Quechua, in Spanish, and in English with translators and uh, an equal platform we presented our information and communicated this as friends rather than as uh, superior, inferior, this is good, that is bad. Gala members uh, talked about uh, their farms and photos of uh, their llamas. People from the Quisharani region uh, talked about what they were doing. So we gave them something, they gave us something. But uh, it makes me feel just very good that as Americans, we acted in such a way towards these people uh, to learn from them and to show them how uh, we dealt with llamas. The Llama Pack Project had not previously done anything like this. And to do this, there had to be a lot of flexibility on everybody's part in, in terms of what we can accept to do and what might be difficult. One of the big challenges are cultural differences, differences in diet, high elevations there could put a strain on people. So we had to be aware that some people have physical challenges, uh, the logistics, how are we going to, uh, to get around? Thanks to Kathleen McDonald, who had, had served as a travel agent in a, a previous job, uh, was really organized by myself and, and Kathleen McDonald. And we worked directly with Llama Pack Project directly with Alejandra Aristella, who is the founder and organizer of the Lama Pack Project. And I, could re I realized right away that she was just the right person to do this. She was so friendly and accommodating and really wanted this to work for her. So it's something that uh, worked for Gala and worked also for Lama Pack Project. Looking at the really big picture, I think the trip was just a success. For me, it's just, Oh, uh, really a wonderful experience. It was uh, so much better than I imagined it could be that uh, somebody who organizes something like this can imagine all sorts of things to go wrong. And uh, from what I can see, there was nothing that went wrong that couldn't be fixed and there was hardly anything that went wrong anyways. And uh, everything was uh, so nice and special. Every day that was a special thing, something new that was special. And uh, truly, I know that I've changed the way I walk with my llamas after I came back. <laughs>